Welcome back to One Day Production, where one day to dream and one day to reality. In today's video, we're gonna be taking off the rear bumper and respraying it the proper color. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but there are two different whites. This is a more like dull off white, and this is the nice ivory white, the QX1. So I haven't got the QX1 yet, but we're gonna start on taking off the bumper, sanding it down, primering it. So let's go. Or I already started taking it off. So what you really need to do is just take off your tail lights. You're gonna have some push tabs in a eight mil. A push tab here. You're gonna have another eight mil here, another one here, and one under the car. I'll show you guys when I get there. And to take off the headlights, it's just a couple of screws, three of them there. I mean, nuts. And the same over here. <coughs> and we're working right now on taking this eight off. And let's go. guys here's part two this is not the intro but you know what it is what it is we we lost a lot of footage we did some of it on uh tiktok live if you guys follow me there you guys would have saw some of it but we lost a lot of the footage of me sanding down the bumper taking off the 3m tape and everything now we're just gonna go ahead and rinse it and go ahead and rinse to get all that you know the sand on all that off we do have primer, so it's gonna fill in the spots like this, but if you feel it, it's smooth. Over here, I need to do some more, I can tell right now. So I'm gonna do some of that. But here's just a nice little recap. Over here, I need to do a little bit more as well. Over here, it's good. Over here, needs some more. But just- Guys, I know the quality of the video is weird, but we're in the process of the video. We're gonna start primering. We're gonna start doing that. Then after we throw on a few coats of primer, we're gonna wet sand. We're gonna go into time-lapse now. So this is what she's looking like. So this is my first time doing any type of prep or anything. I didn't get a picture before. I, I didn't think of it, just to be honest with you. So this is what she's looking like. I had some really bad scuffing over here. I got most of it out. There's some divots here. Looking over here, there's a little scrape here still. Over here, I need to do some wet sanding. The bottle got weird and I wiped it by accident. So I'm gonna do some wet sanding all over. Yeah, there, there was nothing really over here, no imperfection except one little thing here, but filled that in very well. Over here, filled that in very well as well. There's a little thing right here. Oh no, that just wiped off. So that's why I didn't focus too much on it. I'm gonna do a good wet sand all over the bumper. 
And if there's any more divots, scrapes, or anything, I got some filler primer that I'm gonna use. All right, guys, so we finally perfected all the wet sanding. Everything should be at a good, nice, smooth texture. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the base coat, which is with the white. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the white everywhere. And yeah, so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna spray the white base coat. After you spray the white base coat, we're gonna spray the clear coat. After you spray the clear coat, we'll sand the clear coat. Um, some people do, they, they spray the base coat, which is the white. After they spray the white, then they sand it, and then they spray the clear coat and sand it again. I don't think that'd be the best, because clear, the point of clear coat is to fill in that imperfections. So why waste time and waste sandpaper and go ahead and do that when the purpose of clear coat is to fill in the imperfections? So we're gonna go ahead, spray the clear coat, a nice three, four, five layers, a uh, nice thick amount. So when we go ahead and wet sand it, there's still gonna be the protective film of the clear coat. Let's go.
Guys, so we had taken off the tail lights, and if you don't know, there's only three uh, nuts holding it. There's one here, one there, and one here. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. When you're taking off the bumper in the beginning of the video, remember the screws here, a couple here, one there, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and put it back on. This was here when I first took off the bumper. I'm not sure why exactly since there's one there already. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to place this back on so there's no confliction, like make sure the bumper fits properly. Let's go. all right guys so it is finished let's go ahead and look at it this is a couple of days later i'm not gonna lie so there's some dust and dirt and grime on it but let's look at it all right so now we're looking at it this over here this section i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it yet but this is for, for my first time there were scuffs and scrapes on this side you guys can't see anymore the pink was all over here that's gone obviously there is some metallic because I used a clear coat can of this. This gave it the nice shine, metallic look. If you guys remember, there was big scrapes and dents here and in here. We got those taken care of. They are two different wipes, as you can tell. But it looks good, especially for my first time. I can't complain. Yeah. So that was my first time repainting something this size i did some rims with plastic did but that was my first time working with some paint um it was a trying task it came out pretty good in my opinion especially for my first time um it is shiny out so that's why i'm squinting all right so i decided to get in the car to help with the sun and the lighting so um in the videos you could tell we took it down took off the bumper sanded it down to like a good scuff before the primer we primered it all that was like a filler primer type so it will stick to it and fill in all the indents and the scrapes to make it a nice all flush and i went ahead and wet sanded that and then i went and put the base coat which is the white paint so i sprayed that i did about three and no about four to four and a half coats of that three and a half coats to four coats on primer and what else did i do after we did that we wet sanded it after we, we wet sanded it i let it or i washed it down and i let it sit for a few hours to dry and then after i sprayed it with the base coat because the base coat i got was a base coat and uh clear coat so i i didn't sit wet sand it in hindsight i might have wet sanded it just to give it a better um texture to it but the clear coat took out most of the imperfections um with the clear coat i did about three and a half four coats of it and i wet sanded it it's very smooth there's no bumps or catches or orange peel um i'm very happy of the way it came out thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment subscribe and as always and as always one day to dream and one day to reality we out